Hi everyone, Joe from Total Justice Gaming here. We want to take some time to thank you guys for watching us. Please remember to like and subscribe. We work hard to bring you guys uh, buddy fight content five days a week. Uh, however, this week I do apologize. We're only going to have three videos. I made mention of this on the Facebook. I was out of town, so I was unable to film at locals. So we are going to have three deck profiles. Uh, the first of the three profiles will be, of course, my... Uh, Star Dragon World uh, Zodiac. Uh, this is with the new cards from the Dragon Fighter set. And then be on the lookout for later this week. Uh, this weekend we will be shooting our box opening for Buddy Fight Cross, as well as quite a few deck videos because me, uh, four, you guys know as the Mamba, uh, Trey, uh, and Tyler. And uh, Joey, all we're all building different things out of. Uh, Buddy Fight Cross, so be on the lookout for those deck videos next week. Uh, so first off, uh, going right back, Star Dragon World Zodiac. This is uh, after I fixed it up with comments from you guys from last time I posted Star Dragon World Zodiac. This also has some of the new stuff from Dragon Fighters. Uh, I changed out my buddy from Hollow Arms to the original Star Deity Dragon Zodiac. Uh, I get... Uh, an extra crit on his Zodiac, and I get move. So there's the reason I get the buddy. So as I said before, first off, we are running for the buddy. The buddy is Star Deity Zodiac, Star Deity Dragon Zodiac. Uh, same reason why I'm getting him as the buddy. Uh, with him, pardon the camera movement, with him, since he is uh, run off Star Dragon World, uh, he gets an extra crit, so he sits at a 735. He gets move, meaning I can switch him out for defense or offense and swing with a weapon. Um, he gives any other one, so if I can play any other uh, Neo Dragons in the deck, we can give them an extra crit. But for the most part, it's really just a frontline Zodiac deck. So he's the buddy. Uh, next up, we are running th four of the brand new S ESs. Uh, the ESs I really, really liked. Uh, it's a really good upgrade for Zodiac. It gives, I believe, the fan name of it is Eternal Rest. Uh, he's a 725. Uh, whenever he battles uh, a size 2, uh, you can rest something. Or let me read to make sure. Whenever he attacks, choose a size to or less monster on the field. He cannot stand during the next turn. Of course, it has gravity rest. So he's our second Zodiac. We are running two Hollowed Arms. Uh, hollowed Arms was my original buddy. He's also a 725. Uh, he gets his soul from the top of the deck. Uh, whenever he attacks, I can pay a life. Uh, if I'm Star Dragon World, I can destroy something on the field. And, of course, like everything else, he's got Gravity Rest. That's it for the Zodiacs. We're really running 12, but only 10 of them are monsters. Uh, for uh, Dragon Arms, we're running 3 Pisca Pisca. Gives a soul whenever he cross and enters the field in any way, shape, or form. We're running 3 Nebulosa uh, for the double attack. We are running 4 Hind Lance. Uh, the scene's a bit high, but I'm also running Octojammer, which we'll talk about in a second. So he lets me uh, cancel out the opponent's uh, impact phase completely, so long as he's in the soul. Um, I don't know how prevalent that's going to be coming up, because there's quite a few nasty impact mo impacts coming, and impact monsters are still a thing. Potentially, if you go first turn, you can somehow get them in the soul against something like... Uh, uh, Zeta, they just can't play the game. Uh, I don't know how true that is now because they have that new Zeta monster. But so long as he's in the soul, um, you're safe from impact phases. Uh, next up, we got the two Octo Jammer. Uh, I'm considering upping this to a three of just for more consistency. If you saw my fight against the Duel Jaeger match, even though I did lose, that was quite the War of Attrition. Uh, what made it such a War of Attrition was I got Octo Jammer uh, in hand first time, uh, first draw both games, and then had a steady soul of about six to seven soul right off the bat, which is really really decent. Uh, so I am considering bumping him up to a 3-up. Uh, next up, I'm running two Artillagers. 
Uh, our Torger just says if he's in the soul, if he's in combat with the size 2 or less monster, uh, they can't get effects. So there's that. Uh, we're running 2 Jerkline. Uh, also concerning bumping this up to a 3 of, Jerkline lets me go get any Dragon Arms out of the discard pile. And that means I can play him again to put him back into the soul. Uh, I'm only running one Logisticker. Uh, again, I'm considering dropping him for either another Octo Jammer or Jerkline. Uh, he's just there to give my uh, weapon plus one crit. Next up, we're running uh, Light Blade Avenge. We're running four of it. I've or after the match with uh, Ryan, who is running the Jaeger, I am also considering dropping this down to a three of, so it's not a dead draw and gives me more chance for Dragon Arms. But I really do like this. I do consider this the best out of three legs. It gives me uh, gauge whenever it swings, as long as I have a size three Neo Dragon on the field. It also lets me destroy it to blow up a monster whenever I'm dealt damage, so that can help me control the board. So that really does help. Uh, one of the comments you guys gave me last time was to help me rework my shields. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. That really did turn this from a deck that's kind of a fun deck into something much, much more competitive. So I am now running... Well, I was always running four, uh, four Divine Guidance. I was originally running uh, Proto and Earth Barrier, but they just weren't cutting it. I was running four Divine Guidance. I decided to take out the barriers, put in some other spells. So again, guys, I want to thank you so much for your input. You guys really don't know how much it does help us here at Total Justice Gaming when you guys leave us good constructive comments. We really do pay attention to you guys. We do thank you for the comments. We do thank you for your advice. We always take it into consideration. We always take it to heart. Um, so we run four Divine Guidance. Divine Guidance for a must-have for the Zodiac. Uh, just because it's negate, it's gauge, and I believe it's draw. Uh, I just don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, negate, gauge, and gain a life. So very important. you got to keep your Zodiacs out on the field. Uh, next up, I am now running three Illusion, uh, Illusion of the Void Deity. This is the If It Would Be Destroyed. Uh, instead, it's not, and I gain a life. Uh, I was not running these to begin with. This was, again, thanks to you guys' help and constructive criticism and comments. I was able to find these and put these in the deck. It makes a whole lot more of a world of difference. So these have been very helpful. I'm running only three of them. Uh, next up, I am running two Mars Barrier. Mars Barrier is like the only shield that doesn't specifically target you, thank God. Uh, negates unless it's a link attack, so more defense. Uh, next up, I am running three Future Astrology because I can draw a whole bunch. Uh, since I'm, most of my cards are... Both Legend and uh, Star, I can toss it and get a card. I can draw two cards. I'm mostly using it for the draw ability. I'm not really using it to change my flag to both. Uh, next up, I'm running three Lunova. Uh, take this real quick and read it. Uh, discard a card from your hand. Uh, if it's Legend World, gain a life, draw a card. If it's Star Dragon World... Gauge 1 and destroy size 2. So again, like Future Astrology, the majority of the cards we pitch are both, so we get the full effect of the card. This helps me just pretty much do everything I want. Uh, negate, or not negate, excuse me. Uh, field Destruction, Gauge, Draw. Always helpful. Uh, we're running two Dragon Arms Factories, so I can chuck a Dragon Arms and then jerk on it back for a draw 2. And then to end the deck, we are running two of the Buddy Fight Triple T uh, Valentine's Day thing. Although I would actually call this Easter considering Gar's holding a chocolate egg. Uh, so, you know, this is the Easter card. So we're running two of these because this can go get us uh, any Zodiac. So I'm really running 12 Zodiacs in the deck. So that is my Star Dragon World Zodiac deck. Uh, as you guys saw... It was really annoying to a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people gave me good positive feedback at the store after running it because at first they thought the deck was as bad. Now it's just really frustrating and very competitive. Uh, it still may not be up there. It could probably still use a few more tweaks and things, and I'm always looking out for whatever you guys can toss my way. I would love to help. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time. So thank you again for watching, and please like and subscribe to Total Justice Gaming.